Procedural animation is something I've wanted to learn for a pretty long time now, um, ever since I started playing Gang Beast or Totally Accurate Battlegrounds. The only problem was that there wasn't any ever any good resources on creating something like this, and it's still a pretty difficult topic to grasp and learn, especially like on the physics side, but one YouTuber really inspired me to pursue procedural animation. Uh, his name's Kodir. Um, so I decided to like finally get my feet wet with it. And the first step to even starting to learn how to make something like this was learning how to integrate inverse kinematics into Unity, which I had never done before. My first attempt involved following a YouTube tutorial to make my own system, but I learned not long after that Final IK was a much cleaner and nicer solution to implement. Um, and one of the most recent projects I worked on was using Final IK for the player and the bots. And that brings us to now, where recently I discovered that Unity has a built-in package called Animation Rigging, which features different bone constraints and, most importantly, some pretty decent IK implementations, uh, which is really what I was using it for. Um, and usually I don't really like using pre-made assets for things I want to learn, but Inverse Kinematics is so far out of my league that it, I, I don't even want to try to learn how it works right now. I just want to get it working, and then I'll, I'll figure it out later. So the first thing I did was model a little robot dude in Blender that I would subject all of my horrendous, terrible, horrific IK experiments to. I spent like 30 minutes modeling and rigging him, um, and then I moved him over to Unity, and that's where I started setting up the scene with, you know, of course, you gotta get post-processing first out of everything. And then I got the basic stuff set up, like a floor, and I fixed the light and all that. Next, I imported the animation rigging package and had a video talking about it in the background just so I could learn a little bit. To create constraints for our rig, we started by selecting our character and choosing rig setup from And of course, very quickly I started having issues. It seemed like it didn't work out of the box, which I mean, I mean it kind of does, but it's also super unfriendly, or at least I found it to be. And at first, I really wanted to just follow along and like make my own scripts using the same concepts and whatever concepts like came to mind. Because I already knew a few of the basic things like what I needed um, just to get the structure down. But things never really turn out how you want them to. Or I guess in this case, I just have no clue what I'm doing. But I don't get why it's not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Every time I thought I was doing like something right or something was working, it would always break in some other way. Or just have really weird, unexpected, or like unlawful behavior. Like it just, it, look at this. This is so weird. How does it make any sense? Oh, it doesn't, that's right. Yeah, I, I have no clue what happened there. But anyways, what really frustrated me was the fact that Unity was taking like 15 seconds to compile the script that I changed like three characters in, and then it took another 10 seconds to enter play mode in like, it, this is an empty project. I have like three packages imported, like two scripts and a model, so I was really upset about it. There's nothing, it's 10 seconds every time. There's nothing happening. This is an empty project. It's empty. But eventually I figured out that restarting Unity fixed it for a little bit. Of course it came back, so I'd have to restart again, but it fixed it for a little while. Um, I'm guessing it's like some memory leak or a bug in the version of Unity that I'm using, but I, I'm too lazy to install a new one right now. It's way too much work. Eventually I got pretty fed up with trying to make my own implementation and I decided to just download their project and copy and paste their code. I'm gonna do something else too. I'm gonna download their project. But even that had issues, like unsurprisingly. Like I, I completely copied everything in their project and it still had issues <laughs> what am i doing wrong bro i genuinely don't know why it's doing this if i'm telling you not to do anything dude i don't understand is it because of this i don't even know what that means what does it mean you set transform up after sort of getting it to work like barely i went and learned how to import a height map into a terrain just to cool down a little bit which is pretty cool i'll leave her video in the description it helped a lot so now that the IK and like the brain behind it was kind of working, um, it was working good enough, I moved on to the actual quote unquote AI part of this video, which is just me telling the nav mesh to move around. But you know, it wouldn't be a Unity video without more errors that Unity just like creates out of thin air. Like apparently it wasn't close enough to the nav mesh, but it was like standing on top. Because it's not close enough to the nav mesh. No, I think it's pretty close to the nav mesh there, bud. It's not close enough to the nav mesh. It definitely is. The nav mesh is, um, and so I, it's right there. It's I don't right know. There. Um, but I fixed it, and then I moved on to actually telling the agent to move around, which just didn't work. It didn't move. Zero, I guess, bro. I, I couldn't know. figure out why. It's been like 20 minutes. Why is it not going And anywhere? then randomly, I just decided I wanted to move. Go somewhere, I, I have no clue what happened. It what? just decided to work, which is good, because I needed it to, but don't know what, what was causing the problem. So after I got the agent to finally move around and it was working fine, um, I started having more problems with the scripts that Unity provided, which is to no surprise at all. And why is like one foot lagging behind? Like why, this one is, this is Unity's fault, bro. This is their thing. Why is this not going? I didn't touch any of the code. This is their whole thing set up. It just isn't going. Like it works great on, um, 
Oh, no, I lied, actually. Um, I was going to go in and fix them, and then I... I just realized how like messy the script was, so I just cleaned it up a little bit, and then I fixed up. the problem, which was pretty easy. And then I decided, you know what? It's time to make the feet align with the ground, like whatever angle it's standing on. Which, oh man, um, I, I had two attempts at this. The first one took me like an hour, hour and a half, and I didn't even get it to work. Um, I went through a few different ideas, and eventually I, the first one I settled on was like one that basically uses like an empty parent um, that would rotate towards the normal so like the target IK transform like the rotation wouldn't be messed with so it was always zero 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 um, and it didn't work and I, I don't know why I think it's like a hard-coded thing with the IK script that's like related to like the first child of it or like the like, like a parent relationship with IK target I, I don't know but it didn't work eventually after a lot of trial and error and messing around with some variables that either i missed or unity completely failed to mention i i got it kind of working even though the feet still weren't aligned like it was it was kind of working it was it was getting there but i figured i'd save the rest of it for later just to spare my sanity um i started changing the terrain just a little bit to test the capability of like the verticality of like the the ik and uh i got some weird results to say the least whoa what the f <laughs> hello I don't want to go down. Why am I forced to go down? Yeah, the the brush was set to like the wrong mode. I, and I don't know. I don't know how it got like that. But then I dabbled around a little bit with uh, the That's new cool. terrain tools, like the holes in the terrain and the different erosion types. It's pretty cool. I think Unity was very, very overdue for any sort of terrain update. So I'm glad they're finally starting to work on it at least. So, you know, I made my little hill. I put my guy on top of it. I let him walk around, do whatever. And uh, what's that? Oh, oh, more bugs, more limitations with the Unity's built-in stuff. Huh. Par for the course. Yeah, things like the target position of like where the foot should move was completely wrong. I I don't know why I was over here. Um, like weird math that didn't really work very well, and maybe my setup was weird, but it just it didn't work at all. And like some complete oversights. Yeah. What happens, I'm pretty sure, is that when it gets set, they do all this weird fucking math, and then it doesn't get like that works. The, I think the problem is. We're just adding this random in amount on from the bodies forward, and it doesn't really take into account if we're going on a hill, like what the current normal is, like anything like that. Yeah, the forward always stays the same, which is why. I mean, you know, after knocking those out, I added the ability for like the body to face what normal it's currently on, like the average normal of all of the feet. And like how high or how low he look would depend on the steepness, the angle, all that good stuff. Um, but eventually I just took it out for the time being because um, quaternions are Quaternion math is something no, like, mortal, no human can understand. I don't understand them. I don't get it. Next thing I added were just, like, some really basic sound effects for when the leg was moving, like, when the foot hit the ground. Um, I was looking to the asset store, finding some different ones, and I ended up going with these ones by NK. The rest of them were questionable, to say the least. And after some pretty simple programming, my little robo-dude had some sound. Um, oh yeah, I also messed around a send machine a little bit, but I settled on a free cam for right now because I couldn't get any results that I liked. Like I tried like um, one that would follow him around and all this stuff, and you could pan, but I just I just didn't like it. I just had a free cam instead. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, I went back to trying to figure out how to align the feet with the ground. I still could not figure it out. Um, eventually I did, but it took me so long. It took me like. I think it was like 45, another hour. Like, it was a long time. I spent so long doing this, I don't even remember what I was going to do before once I finished this. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I added this little, like, animation to the foot where it would rotate depending on how far along the robot was in the step using an animation curve, which is pretty straightforward. It looks pretty good, and I can change how much it rotates and stuff like that. If you look at this guy from the proper angle and distance, he looks pretty good. There's some obvious issues that I have to iron out, but I think they'll be pretty easy to fix once I can like pinpoint what's causing them, like exactly. And this is like only the tip of the iceberg. There's no actual artificial intelligence here or anything like that. Just a, a robot walking around living in a lonely world. In the future, I'd like to dive into procedural attack animations, maybe like a boss fight that can have a ton of different attacks. And there's still some like pretty essential things that aren't implemented yet that I need to work on, like having a different number of limbs, as many as you want or the amount of limbs changing at runtime, or more natural movement, and just like a lot of things to enhance immersion and the overall umph and the feel of the love this this robot guy. But yeah, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll have another video out soon. Who knows? I don't. But until then, see ya.